Hello and welcome to Dressmaking Amore. Today we're going to be making this beautiful Ophelia dress. This ethereal dress is reminiscent of a modern fairy tale with its charming puffed sleeves, its elegant square neckline, and a flattering A-line silhouette. The link to the pattern that we're going to be using is in the description below this video, so check it out and sew along with us. For this dress you will need 1 and 5 eighths of a yard of knit fabric that holds its shape, 2 yards of a quarter inch wide elastic, a ballpoint sewing machine needle, matching thread, pattern, scissors and pins, and I'll be using a 4 thread serger and a sewing machine. Here I'll be using a white techno knit fabric, but you can also use any knit fabric that'll hold its shape. This would be something like scuba, a ponte knit fabric, or a double brushed poly for a lighter version. And there's more information about the fabric choice in the instructional ebook that comes along with your pattern. So before we get started, please show us some love by clicking that like button down below and subscribing for more dressmaking videos. Let's begin! Here are our pattern pieces. The bodice front, the bodice back, the sleeve, skirt front, skirt back, and the elastic guide. We're going to start with our neckline. Search the neckline front and back. Fold a quarter inch to the wrong side and pin. Press. Then sew this folded edge by sewing right in the middle of the serged seam. Here's where you insert the elastic. I did it after a fitting, but this would be the best time to do it. So insert a quarter inch wide elastic into the formed casing of the front and back neckline and secure the ends. And do these steps for the top edge of the sleeves as well. Place the bodice back and bodice front right sides together and pin the side seam. Sew and finish the edges. Sew the side seam of the sleeves and serge the hem. Make sure that you have two symmetrical sleeves. Press all of the seams and cool them down with a clapper or using your palm. Pin the sleeves into the armhole right sides together matching the side seam. Sew and serge. Then reinforce the neckline corners and secure the seam allowances. Fold 
with half an inch of the serged hem to the wrong side, pin and press. I used my glass head pins, which are safe to use for ironing because they won't melt. Repeat for the second sleeve. Sew in the casing for the elastic, leaving one inch unsewn at the end. Insert the elastic using a safety pin. sew the opening closed, and repeat for the second sleeve. Try it on and check for a good fit. You can actually leave it here and have a crop top, but we'll move on with the rest of the dress. Place the skirt pieces right sides together. Pin the side seams, sew and serge. As you can see, the waistline of the back skirt is deeper than the front. Mark the center front and the center back of the skirt. And mark the center front and the center back of the bodice. Place the bodice inside the skirt right sides together, making sure that the center back of the skirt is matching with the center back of the bodice. Pin at the side seams and the center marks, sew and serge. Hand the dress. Fold the serged edge to the wrong side, pin and press. Pinning and pressing here is important as it'll prevent the hem from twisting in the sewing process. After pressing, you can sew. Give your dress a finishing press and we are done with our beautiful Ophelia dress. As you can see, we also made this crop top using this pattern and it looks very elegant and youthful. So get this sewing pattern at the link in the description and happy sewing!